guys, welcome back to my channel. So today in real time is my daughter's birthday. Oh, she's seven. Happy birthday, baby girl. But uh, the day you guys will be seeing this when it's actually uploaded will actually be my birthday. <laughs> so November 19th is my birthday. November 14th is my baby girl's birthday. But as I mentioned already, I'm going out of town. So I've had to pre-film a little bit. Um, you guys, I just ripped off my, my no chip polish. My fingers are so bogus right now. Like now I'm gonna have to get acrylics tomorrow because this is not an okay situation. So we're not gonna be zooming in too much here. But um, a what's in my bag has been so highly requested and I don't think I've done one in like three years. Like I don't think I've done one since the blue room. <laughs> um, but uh, people keep requesting it, so here we go. So this is currently my bag. Uh, this is a Louis Vuitton, just kidding, I'm not that girl. Uh, <laughs> no, this is a Chanel, I'm just kidding. This is from Aldo and actually it was from DSW and I had a coupon on. So um, it had, it's basically just a little backpack but it's actually structured which is why I got it. I also really like the color because I have a black backpack uh, already. Also from Aldo. Well, Aldo brand, but this one is from DSW. Um, but you can get it at the Aldo store. Okay. And then it, <laughs> and then it has um, this pouch in the front which uh, when I'm traveling, you can detach it, but when I'm traveling, I actually stick my wallet and my phone in there so that it's like kind of doubly protected, you know? Uh, mostly just when I go to New York, because I don't trust New York. No shade to New York, but y'all are thieves. Not all of you, but some of you, okay? So, um, yeah, that's what I do for that. And then I just have one of these little like poofy things on here because it was cute. So since I just took that out, everything popped out of there already. Let's see who we got. Um, I have a Mophie charger, which I'm sure is hella dead. Oh, it's not even dead. It's got two little things on it. And it's got, you know, I have my connection here. So that's cool, because that's been plugged in for a while. I have $2 to go with the $3 I found in the washer today. Yes, you girls got $5. That's all the cash I have. Um, I have a $10 certificate for being a DSW person and it being my birthday. This is my... Is this my birthday one? No, this is not my birthday one. This is just for paying too much money and <gasps> found another dollar. Holler. <laughs> holler, holler, money dollar. And then this is my receipt from the Waldorf Astoria when Lewis and I spent, uh, we had a night out there and um, that was fun or whatever. I vlogged that. And then this is a receipt from Dick's Sporting Goods because I bought a whole bunch of <laughs> I bought a whole bunch of baseball stuff because we did a little skit. Oh, here's my $5. No, this is Ashley's. Ashley gave me her $5 DSW reward um, because her birthday is the week after mine. Hey, girl. Uh, this is a receipt from Maple and Ash. This place was so freaking good. We had brunch there when we went to the city and we stayed at the Waldorf. The next day we went, we had brunch at Maple and Ash, which is in Chicago. And the two brunches was $110 plus like tax and everything else. And that's a crap load of money for brunch, but holy cow, man. Not only is the actual establishment like beautiful beyond belief, but uh, the food was phenomenal. It was like, it's a buffet or whatever, but it was so good. I keep looking at the viewfinder because I feel like I'm super dark, so I apologize in advance, but it's called winter lighting. Once the snow hits, pre prepared for like whoo, super blown out Sarah. But um, I hate filming with the light. I hate it so much, you guys. You can't make me do it, I hate it. So I'm just pulling everything out like I'm cleaning, but I'm not. We have some tissues, because uh, my kids are little snotty nose kids. We have the Bangston's Pumpkin Fest 2017 pumpkinfarm.com. This is the best pumpkin patch around here. But everybody knows about it now, and it's like, it sucks now because there's so many people that go and it's never empty. This is, I have a lot of bags. I always keep bags in my bag. So this bag has a bunch of panty liners, a couple of, got a tampon in here. We've got some uh, band aids and more panty liners and a vagine wipe and then oil absorbing sheets, which I always have, but I. I think I haven't used one in like two years. Um, and then I have Dayquil and Nyquil, tab Tylenol, cold and flu, and some other thing. That's the player's choice on that one. I have no idea because it doesn't say it on the back. Um, and then I have this, which carries my makeup. I got these little bags from like Target, I think. This one, for sure, I got from Target. Or Old Navy, I mean. 
Um, this just has some of my, this is basically a face. Like I pretty much keep a face in here. So this I can grab because it has like a powder. It has um, a tinted moisturizer. This is my favorite tinted moisturizer. This is by Origins. This is the energy boosting tinted moisturizer, sheer tint release. So it like goes from kind of clear to like colored in a couple of seconds. Um, really nice. And then it has like mascara. This is Origins mascara. I have a basic palette. I have a naked um, basics. I also have an actual sort of foundation. This is the um, It Your Skin But Better CC Plus uh, Full Coverage Cream. And this has SPF 50. And I'm actually going to like the Caribbean. So um, I will be taking this with me. It'll be coming out of this particular thing because I'm not going to travel with this big old pouch. I have like my Anastasia pencils in here. I have some concealer. I have like, I have a face. It's not the face I want to wear. Um, these are not the products that I use every single day because those are in my vanity, but this is like the emergency face. Usually, especially whenever I have to go see my lawyer, I tend to go to the gym first and then I have to meet him at like noon or something. So um, after I shower at the gym, because I always shower at the gym, I will take this little packet with me, throw it in my gym bag, and it's perfect for throwing on a presentable face. Again, not the face I want, but the face that I will have for the day. This is my GoPro. Forgot this was even in here. This is my GoPro. I'm gonna take this with us too um, because I want to be able to film underwater and stuff. And last time, I kind of inadvertently filmed underwater with my Canon G7X, which is actually over there right now. That would normally be in my bag as well. Um, but I've been vlogging, so uh, again, because today's Nala's birthday, so of course I'm gonna vlog my baby's birthday. Um, but I accidentally dropped my first one. We, I fell off the jet ski. And I was like, I'm either gonna film on my camera or on my phone. I was like, man, if I lose my phone, that's gonna be really annoying. I'm like, if I lose the camera, that's like 600 bucks, 700 bucks annoying. But at least I'll still have like all of my contacts and stuff. So I decided to take a risk with the camera. The camera fell in the ocean with me and uh, it wasn't a good idea. So when I got home, I bought a GoPro and I bought a new vlogging camera. Obviously, cause salt water and uh, technology, they just don't mix. Um, oh, this is my little favorite little pouch. This is from Target. This is like a little faux leather pouch. It has a little zipper here. It's very slim. Um, this is important to me, especially when I'm traveling, because this has, a, this is like another charger, kind of a stupid one, but it has its own cord. Um, I got it from Aldo. I just thought it was cute. <laughs> and then it has, uh, the red cord is for, these are for my Beats or for basically any kind of basic micro USB. Um, I think that's what it's called. And then I have the GoPro cord in here to charge the GoPro. And then I have another charging cord for my, um, Apple products. And then I have this stupid connector thing because... I have Beats like over ear headphones, which I have to wear on the plane, otherwise I get a wicked, like wicked headache. Um, sometimes I get it anyway. The further I am back in the plane, the worse the experience is for me, which is why I tend to opt for first class seats. Trust me, I don't enjoy spending the extra money on it, but when I'm further and further back, like my head, I mean, it feels like my eyes are bleeding, my head is throbbing, and I wanna vomit the entire time, so it sucks. The headphones help. And I don't want to buy new ones, so I use a little connector thingy. Um, and then what else? I have like a cover in here. I have a micro, the micro, the Sandus micro uh, USB for the GoPro. That's also the same one that I have for my drone, which I wanted to travel with, but I don't think that's a good idea. So I probably won't be traveling with it quite yet. Um, and normally I have a charger for my my uh, vlogging camera in here, and then like four spare batteries and like a couple SD cards but they're all around the house charging right now because we're leaving very soon and so I wanna have everything charged. Um, and then I have this bag. This is like my fun little bag of tricks. Um, this is from Target, super cute, right? I bought it like in the summery time. Summery time. This has like things that are important to me. So it has more, um, more band-aids, more panty liners, which unfortunately I think I'm gonna get my period while I'm on vacation and I'm so sad. Um, and it has a couple of like little, um, lady wipes or whatever. I like to have those on hand just in case. Um, and then I even ha I have some cotton owl wipes too. I like to keep wipes generally, especially because I also, I have kids and you just never know. I've had some incidences in my life where I've been very glad that I had baby wipes. Um, and then I have some moleskin pads. These are clutch. Like if you feel a part of your shoe rubbing on your foot and it's hurting you or whatever, 
and you think it's gonna cause a problem or you know eventually it's gonna cause a problem, then you can put some moleskin there before it causes a problem and it actually really helps. Um, so I have this thin version, then I have a thicker version too. Nala wears it sometimes too. Um, and then I have some of these. They don't sell these anymore. They don't sell this one anymore or I can't find it. But these are the um, Oral-B Complete Floss Picks. And what I love is that the floss is like, it's like a string versus the other ones which are like that flat sort of I guess it's still string, but uh, I hate it. So these are like an actual little string and I love them and they're all gone. When I saw them go on clearance, I bought like 40 of them and now I'm finally, oh, and I'm sad. I also keep a toothbrush in here and I keep toothpaste in here too. Not the kind I like, but the kind, again, it'll do. I keep a Sensodyne toothpaste in here. And then, oh, I have that Monistat um, chafing relief powder gel in case I have like a dress on or shorts or whatever. Um, I rub it on my thighs and it stops it from having like chub rub or whatever. It's amazing. And then um, I have these everywhere. The kids have them in their backpacks. They have them in their coats. I have them by my bed. I have them in all my bags. I have them in the car. They're the bomb. Uh, these are the little Vaseline lip therapy cocoa butter things. Well, it doesn't have to be cocoa butter. I don't like the pink one, but I like all the other ones, creme brulee and the normal one. And then I have this one, which I also love. This is the fresh sugar cream lip treatment. This one is in the color or scent or whatever, baby. It's great. <laughs> I really like it a lot. And then I also have the Best Damn Lip Mask, which I also love because it's very hydrating. Um, I just always like to have something for my lips. Crusty lips are just the devil, so I do not ever want them. Um, I also have these Altoids, which are curiously cool mints. They're not the strong ones. And I love the wintergreen one. Like, it's just, oh, they're perfect. I love them so much. And then I have some Aleve here, and I think I tend to mix some other things. I do. I have some other pills in here as well. I know what they are. So, um, since this is like my personal thing, I don't mind mixing pills. I also have a few other prescriptions that I like to travel with just in case. Um, and then I have, a, I have like daily prescriptions that I take. Well, one daily prescription that I take um, every day for the rest of my life. So um, I travel with that, obviously, and I like to keep a spare one in my bag just in case. Um, <gasps> yay! I've been looking for this everywhere, you guys. I was, I told you, I like jacked up my nails and I was like, dang, where did I put this stupid nail thing? Cause it has like a file and it has like uh, that Sesh V in here or whatever it's called. And it has just like stuff that I need to make my nails at the very least look presentable. Cause we're going out for a birthday dinner tonight. And I'm like, yo, this is bogus. Like that's exciting. I didn't even show you. It's like a little airplane bag. I think it came from like Sephora or something. Yeah, Beauty and the Fly. Um, anyway, it just has, I don't normally keep this in my bag, but I needed to clean Nala's nails off for our photo shoot. So I had given it to her while I was driving there and she did it herself. She like took the polish off. Um, so oh, that's great. And then we have, I have this wallet. I used to use this wallet and then I stopped. Like I used to use it on a daily basis. My actual wallet's in my car and my car is at the gym with the boys. The boys took the car, um, so. I don't have my actual wallet to show you. It's just like a really tiny slip little like wallet. It doesn't even close or anything. Um, I just slip a few cards in there. So this has kind of my overflow cards. It has like a William Sedoma gift card in it. It has a bunch of like punch cards for small cakes because I buy a lot of cupcakes. Um, it has like my Costco card, Costco wholesale. It has my one of my insurance cards for my car, NCG Cinemas. It has a cinema card and then it has some money. What kind of money is this? This is funny looking money. What is this? Oh, is this a dollar? It's a dollar, how cute. Okay, and then some quarters. Ew, I feel gross just touching that. Um, so this I keep just in case I like, you know, need it. That normally has like my void card in it and just dumb stuff that I don't need, like loyalty cards. Oh, I also have this fresh uh, sugar sport thing. I like this one because it kind of, it actually doubles as like sunscreen for like, it says for your lips, face, and eye area. I don't know that I want to put it like around my eye and then on my lips, but um, it's nice, like when you're in a pinch. It has SPF 30 in it. And then this is the wrapper from my uh, air freshener in my car, Beautiful Day by uh, Bath and Body Works. Um, I feel like it really worked super well right at the beginning and then it kind of stopped. And then I keep a deodorant in here. This is my favorite deodorant. This is a degree dry protection shower clean. Gotta stay fresh, ladies. Gotta stay fresh. And then I have one of my tripods. People always wonder, how do you film the dressing room? How do you film in the car? How do you do that? With this, it's a suction cup. So you stick it on and then you do that. I have another one that is identical to it right there attached to my camera right now. Um, let's see what else we got. The eels. Oh, we have, these are so good. I always travel with them. They are the uh, Girardi. These are, <laughs> I was thinking of Joe Girardi just now. Uh, these are the Girardelli, the Girardelli, Girardelli. I don't know how, everybody says it different. Um, 
milk chocolate sea salt cashews. Milk chocolate is the best one. The purple one is dark chocolate. Those are okay, but um, this, this these are amazing, you guys. They taste so good. They always sell them at the airport, but you can get them at Target too, so they're cheaper. Oh, it's the pen. It's the pen from the beloved uh, hotels. This is where we stayed. We stayed at the beloved like hotels and resort or whatever um, when we went to Cancun, Mexico for Lewis's birthday. So um, I, I keep one pen and it's that one. I also have a perfume in here. I always keep a perfume in here. I have a ton over there, um, but this is the one that I kind of just like to have like around. This is by far my favorite scent, but I try to switch it up. I mean, I've gone through probably five of these. I recently just threw another one out because I keep one in my gym bag, a smaller version, and I just bought one at Sephora the other day. Waiting on that to show up, hopefully before my trip, so I can take a little one, because this is too big to travel with, um, in my opinion. Uh, but it's also too big as far as the, actually no, it's not, 3.4, yeah, it is too big, I think. Anyway, I don't want to travel with this giant one. So uh, this is Chanel number five, in case you cannot tell, but it's my jam. I love smelling like a little old lady that just smells like baby powder. It's, it's my favorite thing. Um, what else we got? We have a random panty liner down here. I got a lot of panty liners. I wear panty liners every day. So... Then I also have Wine Down by Gerard Cosmetics, just floating. I have my favorite uh, matte lipstick of life. This is Cream Cup, the Cream Sheen lipstick. I have a few of those. And then I have this little um, lotion. I thought these new, like, like this, this was so cute. These new ones that, they're not new anymore. I guess I bought this like a year ago, but this design, I liked it. This is the Shea Butter hand creams from Bath & Body Works. This is the Berry Sweet one. It's just really cute. It's nice and thick. That's what I liked about it. And then I have a bunch of papers down here, which, I don't know, I guess I'd be interested, like, if someone else was doing this at the Waldorf, again, <laughs> the car tag. And then this is, I feel like I'm tasting the Chanel. This is my dental bill. Uh, $636. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, that's great. <clears throat> and this is from the UPS store for my mailbox. That was $300. That sucked too. Uh, this is from Party City Balloon Order. This was from Nala's party that we had last weekend, which that vlog is on my uh, YouTube vlog. No, what am I trying to say? It's on my vlog channel. That vlog should be live. It went live. In real time, it's going live tomorrow, so in your time, it would have went live like four or five days ago. Uh, Jimmy John's receipt. Kids like Jimmy John's. Uh, cashews. I eat a lot of cashews. They're my jam. I keep them all the time. Like, I love cashews. It's my favorite thing ever. Um, little thing about tooth decay. Don't you, don't you, do you see her? Look at these cute kids. Look. Ah! They got bad teeth, guys. Bad teeth. You don't want that. You don't want that at all. So, yeah, Nala had, like, filling. She had something done. Not fillings, but they gave me a brochure about it. Is my phone ringing? No, my phone is ringing. Hang on, guys. Hello? This is an important message. It doesn't sound important. This is my phone, which um, is also normally in my bag. The case is from Velvet Caviar. Uh, what is this for? $27 for what? Oh, I shipped something. I shipped something to California. Carter's coupon. Yeah, my kids still fit it. Just barely, though. Uh, and then this is Bravia Nails Spa Honey Princess Pedicure. I'm getting that done. Polish for hand and Manny Petty. Oh, this was for me and Nala. We both got stuff done that day. Um, what else do I have in here? Anything in there? Anything in there? What's in here? This feels like I'm hiding something, but I'm not. Is that it? Guys, that's it. The whole thing is empty now. Look, it's, it's not empty now. It's empty. So that's what's in my bag. Now you know. <laughs> I guess let me know what's in your bag. It looks a lot worse when it's all in the bed. It looks much better in the bag. Um, so I guess, you know, let me know what's in your bag. And uh, tell me if you want to see more stuff like this. I could do a what's in my gym bag if you want. I obviously have a whole different set of things in that particular bag. Um, but I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Give me a thumbs up if you did. And I'm sure since I mentioned it's my birthday, people are probably down there saying happy birthday. So I'm just going to say thank you ahead of time. But today is really my baby's birthday. And so I'm very excited. I really became a mom seven years ago. Like what was 21 year old Sarah thinking? Nothing, she was thinking nothing. She was like, oh, it's gonna be so cute to have a baby. And now here we are. But things really worked out for us. So I feel very blessed to have my daughter and my son and my whole situation and everything. So um, yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you have not. Is that all I have to say? I think so. I hope that you guys are having a great day, and I'm going to see you in my next video. Bye, guys.